I want to talk about mercy. I want to talk about Jesus' incomprehensible mercy. Because I know I've been dwelling on sin, my sin. And boy, do I beat myself up when I fall. Boy, is the guilt terrible. But I, I, I have a tendency to wallow in it. And that's on me. Jesus is saying, get up. Get up, Bruce. Come running to me. I'm here. I see your story. I see your heart. I love you. Come here. If I stay down in the mud, it's on me. Jesus is ready to forgive us. Do you know who he doesn't forgive? There's only one, one person he will not forgive. The one who refuses his mercy. Who says, no, my sins are too great. Or refuses to give up sin. Which is rejecting his mercy. Because in order to receive mercy, you have to abandon sin. You have to turn from sin. And make a firm purpose of amendment not to sin again. The just man falls seven times in a day, it says. I don't want to count how many times I fall in a day. Hopefully not seriously, even seven times. But, but I get very discouraged. And I really believe the reason for that is because Jesus deserves better from me. I want to give him everything. I want to give him my whole heart. I don't want to hold anything back. And if there's some sin in me, some weakness, some habitual sin, some frailty, it is discouraging for me, but it shouldn't be because I can't fix myself. Only he can. And I realized that this afternoon when I was kind of beating myself up again and I said, Jesus, what, what, what did I do? What, what's wrong with me? he says, give it to me. He does. He says, give it to me. Let go. Let go. Because here's the good news. Sometimes he lets us fall to humble us, to make us realize our utter dependence on him, on his mercy and love. And boy, am I ever utterly dependent on him. And I want to be. But once again, being carnal man being um, believing wanting to believe in my ability to do things on my own no no with his grace with his help but never ever think for one moment I don't care how many sins you have I don't care how many times you fall in a day if your heart is seeking Jesus if you're seeking Jesus with all your mind and heart he's ready to forgive it's only if you say no to his forgiveness, that's free will. That's how great his, that's the sin against the Holy Spirit. When you say no, you can't forgive me. He can. Because his mercy is deeper than the deepest sea. It's beyond our comprehension. He, he shed every drop of blood for you. He was thinking of you the whole time he was on the cross, carrying, carrying the cross, during the scourging, the crowning with thorns. He was thinking of you. Is that the kind of love that's going to say no very easily to someone who's seeking forgiveness? No. I'm just a carnal man, like I said. And if someone asks for my forgiveness, you better believe I'm going to forgive them. They don't even have to ask. Because I don't have the right not to forgive. Because I've been shown such incredible mercy. The idea of not forgiving is f foreign to me. So if I, a fallen, per a fallen man, can forgive, imagine Jesus. His willingness to forgive. So don't give up hope. Yeah, I admit it. I get discouraged. But I can't give up hope because I believe and trust in his mercy and love. I don't deserve it, but it's a gift. As his redeeming blood is a gift, we say yes to it or we say no to it. We don't earn it. We earn nothing. There's no goodness in me unless it comes from Jesus. He is the source.
I am nothing. He is everything.